Hi everyone, welcome back to the inventory series. In this part, we are going to add the zooming and the object moving to the item 3D widget we made in the last video. Here's the quick preview. As you can see, I can click in the window and the object moves with the mouse. When I scroll the mouse wheel, you can see that we are zooming to the min and max positions we gave the object. And that's all we do in this video. If you have any questions, you can join my Discord and I will try to help there. Open the engine and let's start by going to the BP recording. Go to the event graph and add a custom event, click start and click end. Create a variable can rotate and set it to false. After we click end. After this, we add the mouse click position to store the position of the mouse. When we start clicking in our widget. And then can rotate to true. Next, we need a custom event to react to the mouse movement. Create the mouse move custom event and add a vector 2D as an input. Subtract this from the mouse click position and divide by 4 to slow down the mouse movement a bit. Then include the can rotate and check if that is true. Break the vector 2D and invert the X by multiplying it by minus 1. Make a rotator and add the inverted X to the Z. This will allow us to move the object according to the mouse. You can of course change this if you want to invert the mouse moving. Some people prefer it the other way. Connect the Y pin and then after the branch is true, add a world rotation to the static mesh and connect the rotator to it. Finally, set the mouse click position to the current mouse position. Then create a custom zoom event. Add a branch and then add the zoom amount as an input node. This can be a vector. Get in the scene capture component get the relative location and add a plus node and connect both. Break from here, add the less and a greater check. Here we want to check if the zoom position is between the min and max position. Create an end node and connect both, so we only move the component if the new zoom is between those two. When that is true, set the relative location of the scene capture component to the new location. In the next step, we go to the WB recording to set the mouse input. Override the on mouse button down event. Get the recording ref and they get the click start event. Then get the player controller and get the mouse positions by DPI. Make a vector of it and connect it to the click start. At the end, we want to set the return value to handled. Next, we want to override on mouse button up. Add the recording ref, look for the click end and then set it to handled. Next on mouse move. Get the recording ref again, pull in the mouse move event and then get the player controller. Again get the mouse position and make it a vector. The 
this time we want to set it to unhandled. Otherwise, the widget will not pass the event to the parent widgets. So basically, handled is blocking the bubble up and unhandled is not blocking it. The last one to override is the mouse wheel to do the zooming. Again, add the recording ref and look for the zoom event. This time we want to get the real data from the mouse event. And then we multiply it by 5. You can set it to whatever you want, this will make the zoom faster or slower. Make a vector, connect it and handle the event. Go to the event graph, search for on mouse leaf. Clicked end and we are done. One important thing I missed in my last video is the correct connection between min and max position in update static mesh in the class BC recording. So go here and fix it. Finally, we are ready to test. Start the game pick some items up and go to the inventory. Click on a widget and then move the mouse. The item should rotate. When you scroll in or out, it should start to zoom in and out. If you want to have it slower or faster, just change the numbers. Or change the max and min position if you want to increase or decrease the zoom amount. That's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or join my Discord. Have a nice day and see you in the next one.